Hey, what's up everyone? Trader Tim, eminimind.com, doing a trade recap video for the last day of June, June 30th, 2016. It's been a pretty wild week. Last Tuesday in the live trading room, <clears throat> basically uh, stated that it was going to be a, a wild week and following the Brexit news, the market has not only broken trend, but intraday, things have been a little messy, not quite as uh, easy to stay in a trend. I had drawn up a full 50% retracement the other day and was looking for the 1962 level. And you'll notice that we broke the swing low down here on the Brexit news. And we put in a lower low and potential here could be a lower high if we do roll over. So there's still potential to come down to this 1962 uh, and maybe get a bounce, but pulling the next anchor point up, that gives us a 2,325, which we've held. And, uh, you know, that it's not a typical anchor point that I would use, but it is holding right now. So we'll see if that materializes into anything substantial. Got a gap below us still from earlier in the week. Uh, we have filled the initial gap from the Brexit news. So uh, there's, there's potential to go both ways, up or down. And like I said, the trend is definitely broken, at least the, uh, the slow churn upwards. And as we were talking about that widening formation, this is the result. You get these wild uh, gap days, big body candles, big move down, big move up, kind of a V reversal. So I would expect the volatility to continue. Let's talk about a couple trades from this week. I want to talk about a few setups that we had been trading that uh, have been tough to stay in. And then I'll talk about a, really only two trades that uh, I had this week. So Monday, uh, we gapped down, and there was the opportunity to get short below the low of the first five-minute bar, but shaken out pretty quick as this uh, candle 15 minutes in kind of faked out reversed and then uh, sold off and yes the trend continued lower but it was uh, not able to trail each candle without getting shaken out on Tuesday it was a pretty crummy morning so to speak there wasn't a whole lot of opportunity um, you know that we we had moved up off the open and the market dipped just briefly below the first five minute bar and then started on its way, but that uh, did not last very long. It was only good for a couple of points. A uh, trade I liked in the middle of the day, once we did move lower, we started to bounce and we broke the negative 61.8. So I draw up from lows to highs and then take the next long setup. And that was a nice move from uh, 2010s up to about 2015 so five points even though it's a small draw not bad we ended up in the end of the day as well uh, I didn't take this trade but uh, it did uh, come down just about to the 50% uh, retracement and then close the day higher and then Wednesday same kind of thing I was looking for a uh, move higher which we got but it was met with first the fake out right off the open, move lower, and then started to drift higher. And there wasn't really a, a decent retracement all day. So Wednesday was a pretty quiet day. And, you know, going into the week, I knew that there might be some funny things going on, especially with these gap scenarios. So I didn't feel too bad kind of missing out on, on that trade or the lack thereof, not having a trade set up there. Thursday... Uh, another kind of uh, today, Thursday, um, you know, this ended up uh, working out pretty well, and I, I changed some things a little bit, but basically drawing up the short in the morning, not necessarily looking for a short setup, but looking for it to fail because we had this little double bottom down here. So uh, once we failed the 618, Rather than drawing up 
the 50% retracement here, oops, which would have been like this, I let the pullback occur and uh, got long above the high of the low bar. So we had this little double bottom, a little break higher, a pullback that would have pierced the 61.8. So, but rather than getting long at the 50, I just got long above the high of the low bar. And then instead of trailing each candle's low, which did uh, work out for you know a, a decent time, uh, I chose to trail swing lows because we were being chopped around earlier in the week. That's kind of you know look to the last couple of days, see what the market's been doing and determine if you want to be aggressive with your stop trailing each candles low versus trailing each swing low and that was probably the longest uh, trade I'd been in uh, in quite a long time in terms of getting long uh, basically an hour after the open and then trailing swing low we made a new high pulled back made a new high again I moved my stop from underneath the previous swing low to the current swing low moved higher again pulled back broke highs, move my stop underneath the next swing low, pulled back, broke highs, continued to move my stop underneath the next swing low, pulled back, kind of moved sideways, and then spiked at the close and, uh, you know, took it off, took it off at the close. So um, when we get into these little choppier environments, it's nice to sometimes be a little bit more conservative with the trail stop. And then uh, that can help keep you in a trade a little bit longer. So going into Friday, I'm not planning on trading because we're in a three-day weekend with 4th July on Monday. I'm going to call it a week. And uh, next week, we'll be looking for you know either a continuation of the uptrend, perhaps some rolling over. Uh, there's... You know, there's a lot of aftermath and fallout from these big news announcements. It's never just a one-and-done day. So we'll really have to wait and see if we can come up and break a swing high, if we start to gap down and sell off down towards the 50% retracement of 1962. But the key takeaway is be cautious. And um, like I said, I'm being a little bit more conservative with my trail stop. There are moves available. or There are trade setups that are presenting themselves. You just have to... You know, it's okay to get shaken out uh, a little bit in some of these uh, markets and in these kind of environments because if you're patient, you can uh, catch a big move down the road. So I hope you all have a great weekend. For those <clears throat> folks in the U.S., have a happy 4th of July weekend, and we'll talk to you all next week.